Hey there, Scorpio. Uh, welcome to your reading for the week of September 4th. Uh, this week, definitely check out astrojar.com for more awesome readers and astrologers. Also this week, I am reading with uh, Mildred's Oracle. I'm going to change it up this week and use uh, Mildred's Pocket Oracle, I should say, uh, which is an awesome new deck that I have been enjoying. So let's see what comes up for you at this time. Yeah, very interesting. Um... So let's see here. Uh, you start off with the flower. Uh, it came up for Libra as well. So, um, you know, probably for those of you closer to the Libra side of things, this will make more sense. Uh, definitely a card of uh, growing and uh, something opening up in your life, needing to watch something blossom. Could be a relationship that's kind of like moving along slowly and uh, could be turning into something more. But again, it's kind of like a card that says take your time, allow the relationship to become something more. For others of you, again, it could be a business. Same thing. It could just say, like, kind of like, keep it going. Just keep things going. Uh, keep moving at the, pa the, you know, pace that you are moving at, and you will get a reward for just keeping things going. Uh, even if you're retired, it's like a card of, like, continuing to work on something, um, so that you can kind of keep things going, so to speak. Next, you have the coin. Uh, a bunch of people have had this card this week. I've been saying that this card to me represents needing to pay attention. Like, at least three signs have had, you know, you plus, like, two others have had this card this week. It's a card of needing to pay attention. Obviously, there's probably something in the astrology. I haven't taken a look yet, but um, probably something um, about needing to really pay close attention to things. Uh, to me, this is like a, every time I've been picking it up, I've been seeing like somebody finding a coin on the street, needing to, you know, and to me, that means like need, needing to find coins in your own life, needing to focus on areas where you're making money, or also needing to look at other areas where you could be making more money uh, in your own life, especially if you have a business or if you have like a side job or something like that, there might be other opportunities uh, for you there. But it's also a great card for gifts, rewards, and just money coming in in general. Uh, next, you have the umbrella. So a card of protection. A lot of people have been getting these cards of protection. You also have the house as well. So I think a lot of people are being protected this week, maybe um, from like risk taking more specifically. So I think that it would be a great week for everyone really to uh, be able to take some sort of risks in their lives to kind of like put themselves out there and even new risks I'm getting like for you it could even be like changing the way you look or you know acting in a diff different way or becoming a different person so again these could be pretty big changes that you make but uh, like I said I do feel like you are protected uh, at this time. Also, I mean, we could look at the umbrella as, again, more things opening up. It's almost like the energy is opening up for you. You have the flower, you know, energy of opening up, and you also have the umbrella, another card of things kind of like opening up for you and opening up to new possibilities. Next, you have the, uh, the spirit ball here, um, needing to try new things. Uh, that's not what I wanted to say. So again, whenever those things kind of like come out, I always think maybe that's like the true message for you. So, uh, I do feel like maybe, yeah, maybe you needed to try something new this week, um, cause that came in. But, uh, what this card really means is just delving into your spirituality, um, being very intuitive. And it says you probably are going to be very intuitive this week. So trust your intuition, uh, more specifically with this card and, uh, trust the messages that come to you. I do feel like also this is representing like just being guided, uh, towards, uh, new things, um, at this time. Next, you have the house. So again, being protected. I feel like a lot of you could be working from home this week as well, which would be good. Um, I think it's saying that the home will be very supportive. And I just feel like you, you will be getting a lot of support from home uh, this week. And um, yeah, some of you could even be traveling this week or thinking uh, or planning travel, I should say, um, with some of these cards. Finally, you have the octopus. I feel like for some of you, you've been focusing on too many, on too many different things and you just need to kind of like narrow in on one thing, uh, so that you can get things to work out better in your life. Um, so yeah, definitely focus comes up with this card, just needing to have a very kind of like central focus, especially if you're in business. I'm getting that you need to kind of like, yeah, just like focus things in. Um, for others of you, I think this is just representing intelligence, you know, the octopus is a very smart animal, of course, and uh, represents intelligence and looking at different ways of doing things, coming up with uh, different plans of, um, you know, how to solve problems and solving problems in a different way, which has been a major message that has been coming up. I said to uh, Cancer, I wouldn't be surprised if a message like that came up. I feel like for all the water signs, um, you know, we're all being, all, all water signs, I think, are being 
pushed towards doing something that we truly want in our lives. Um, but we're probably just not going to be able to, I mean, I think the challenges for water is that we're not going to be able to do it in the way that we think we're going to be able to do whatever it is that we're passionate about or whatever it is that we want to do. We have to like kind of find ways around, um, how, you know, kind of having to find different ways into doing things, um, at this time. Because again, I do feel like there are obstacles to our, our success. I think that there are obstacles, uh, towards, you know, the things that we want to do. But again, I feel like we just have to find different ways of doing things and we'll be able to do what we want. But again, it's not going to look like anything like how you imagine. So I know that's confusing, but needing, you know, you are the octopus this week. Come on. You know, you can use your intelligence to find a different way of doing things. So thank you for watching and enjoy your week.